diagram below show the arrangement of the first three of an infinite series of similar triangles. So you have three triangles here. The first triangle has a base of xcm and a height of ycm. The measurement of the base and height of each subsequent triangle are half of the measurement of its previous one. So for the second triangle, the base is half of the previous triangle that is half x. The height is half of the previous height, which is y. For the third triangle, the base is half of the previous base, which is half x. This is equal to 1 over 4x. And the height here will be half of the previous height, which is half y. This is equal to 1 over 4y. Show that the areas of the triangle form a geometric progression and state the common ratio. So how to prove the area of the triangle form a geometric progression? First, you list out the first three terms, the first term, the second term, and the third term. Next, you find the ratio of the second term divided by the first term and the third term divided by the second term. Remember, the second term divided by the first term is actually the common ratio. And the third term divided by the second term, also common ratio. If you can show these ratio are equal, Therefore, you can say that these three terms are a geometric progression. Now, how to find T1, T2, and T3? So, T1 is the area of the first triangle. In this case, it will be half times base, x, and height, which is y. So, the first term is half xy. The second term is the area of the second triangle here, which is half times base. The base is half x times height, the height is half y. Therefore, this equal to 1 over 8xy. The third term is also equal to half times base times height. For the third triangle, the base is 1 over 4x and the height is 1 over 4y. So this equal to 1 over 32xy. Now the second step, you find the T2 divided by T1. The second term is 1 over 8xy divided by half xy. You cancel off your xy, you will get a ratio of 1 over 4. Then you find the third term divided by second term. This equal to 1 over 32xy divided by 1 over 8xy. Remember, you should get the same ratio because you need to prove that this is a geometric progression. So 1 over 32 divided by 1 over 8, you have 1 over 4 as well. Therefore, you can say that the third term divided by second term equal to the second term divided by the first term. Therefore, the areas of triangle form a geometric progression. So what is the common ratio R, which is equal to 1 over 4? Continue to part B, given that X equal to 80 cm and Y equal to 40 cm, determine which triangle has an area of 6, 1 over 4 cm squared. So now we know that the area for the first triangle is half XY. This equal to half times 80 times 40, this equal to 1,600. And from part A, we know that the common ratio is 1 over 4. So we know that Tn is the area of the N triangle. So now we have to find Tn, which is equal to 6, 1 over 4. What's the formula for Tn for geometric progression? That is A, R, N minus 1 equal to 6, 1 over 4. Now we substitute A, the first term, which is equal to the area of the first triangle, that is 1006. The R is 1 over 4, N minus 1 equal to 6, 1 over 4. So listen here carefully, you cannot multiply 1006 with 1 over 4 because these two do not have the same indices. 
what you can do here is 1 over 4 power n minus 1 equal to 6 1 over 4 divided by 1006 this will give you an answer 1 over 256 so now you have 1 over 4 n minus 1 equal to 1 over 4 power 4 because 4 power 4 equal to 256 now you have the same base therefore n minus 1 equal to 4 and n equal to 5 so the fifth triangle has an area of 6 1 over 4 cm squared so b part 2 find the sum to infinity of the area in cm squared of the triangle so this is very simple you just apply the formula for s infinity which is equal to a divided by 1 minus r a is 1006 divided by 1 minus the r is 1 over 4 just press your calculator you should get answer 2 1 3 3 1 over 3